Today's project, we're working on a pair of Loak Shoemakers loafers. Now, the uppers are in absolutely beautiful condition. The guy's really taking care of them, but the soles are in definite need of a resole. So, we're gonna strip these guys down, tear them apart, take all the old materials off, then we're gonna get our new engraved leather sole on and get these finished up. Let's go, guys. Today, we're switching things up with something new and seriously cool. I just got my hands on the new Creality Falcon A1 laser engraver. Now, this isn't a paid promotion or a sponsored video, but Creality did send me this machine to review and to put to the test. And you know me, I'm gonna see exactly how it holds up in my trade. This engraver features a 10 watt laser, and I'm gonna use it to bring something new to the bench. Custom engraving leather soles to add personality and detail to men's shoes and boots. I've never reviewed any tech like this before, but when I saw what it could do, I just had to give it a shot. In this video, you'll see me unbox the machine, run a few engraving tests on real leather, and then we'll dive into my usual repair process that I know you guys love. This time using the soles that have been custom engraved right here in the shop. So whether you're into craftsmanship, custom touches, or just want to see how old school repair meets new school tools, you're in the right place. Let's fire it up and see what this thing can do. So I've been messing around with the software in Lightburn just to see if there's any way I can figure out how to work it. Being completely new to laser engraving, it's a bit of a learning curve but I think we're getting there. So I've managed to load up just a little writing of Cobbler G, Rebuild, Restore, Respect. So we're going to send it over to the engraver and we're going to have a look and see what it looks like. All right, so I thought, why not make a key ring? So we've made a little design here. We've got our Cobbler G logo in the center here, and then we've just drawn some patterns around it with a little hole here for a keyhole, which I'm probably just gonna move slightly out of the way. Uh, let's see, maybe about there. So we've got over on this side here, this is our actual laser cutting uh, settings. We've chosen a speed of 100 millimeters per second with 100% power. Seems to be pretty good for what this does. And on the actual line, we've gone for 10 millimeters per second, 90% power, and that's gonna actually cut it. So we've got a fill for the actual wording, and then we've got a line cut for the actual keyring shape of itself. So let's send that over to the machine, and see what it looks like. we have a little key ring. All right, I seem to be getting the hang of it now. This is definitely my favorite one that we've created so far. A nice Red Wing logo. So we've tried it on a piece of leather, a little bit different from the settings that we had for the hardwood piece that I showed you first. So as you can see, these are all the tests of different strengths of the laser, different speeds of the laser, just to see and try and find out the sweet spot to make a nice emblem on the leather. So all materials that you use on these, they'll have different levels of power, different levels of speed. But I have found that the best one seems to be this one up here. All right, so we've got our first test on the leather and we're gonna take this to the workshop now. I'm gonna get it put on a pair of shoes, see how it looks. 
All right, guys, so that's us in the workshop. Now, today's project, we're gonna be working on a pair of Loke Shoemakers loafers. Now, these are completely trashed at the bottoms. Uppers are in great condition, so it's really time for a resole.
All right, guys, so that's completely done with this week's project. Laser engraver is a super sick machine. Can't wait to really tinker with it, get really, really down into the nitty gritty of how the actual machine works properly. But for a first engraving attempt, I think we've done pretty well. The finished result, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Catch you next week's video. Peace out, guys.